From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update. 2021 in this recording we'll go over that stimulus check and why the democrats are likely to give you more amounts of checks then we cut to the recon done deal 3.5 trillion dollars of checks are coming to the american people but they're not delivering them in the timeline that they originally represented i'll uh, the update on the timeline in the second half of this video but the incredible great news about all these checks are coming to the american people then we cut in the third part of this video to the voting process and why leader Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, uh, and also Bernie Sanders are delivering different news about the timeline initially represented. But we'll go over what's coming up next. And then we cut to Fist Stimulus, which raises your benefits up lifetime for SSI and SSDI. And that's just a few days away as a legislative process on that starts in early September. Then we cut to the big money across the board as one viewer gets over $50,000 from this channel. And daily viewers are getting over $18,000. I'll show you how to get this big money as well. It's a big day and it's a big afternoon. I'm excited for you. Let's get to it, starting right now. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? Hope you're having a beautiful day across the board. It has been very cool in Southern California. In Santa Monica, it has been literally in the low 50s it, most of the morning and most of the evenings. So it's been paradise. It feels almost like February. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> Don't bring me a hurricane or a tornado, please. <laughs> How's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from this beautiful afternoon of Tuesday in uh, in the middle of the week. Let's get to that monthly stimulus check. In this recording, we'll go over those stimulus checks and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we cut to the recon. Done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people of all different kinds. They're application-based, all different types, and including my seniors and especially my workers. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over the details about that as well. Then the third part of this video, we go over the voting process. And this is perhaps the most probative, the most fascinating, the most shocking revelation of this week. Because Leader Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, the president, and also Bernie Sanders did not, categorically did not deliver on when they said things were going to get done. So I have the latest update on the the timing about all the details of what, what's happening and the voting process. Yes, excitement as the roads and bridges is passing or passed, but the question then is what's next step? Well, the recon starts the voting today, and I have that as well. Then we cut to fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime, and then the big money that viewers continue to get as one viewer got $50,000. I'll show you how to get this big money because money is money, and the more money I can get you, the better we are both together. And with that, this is Adelaide, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel on America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. See on this video, it'll automatically take you there for that 15-hour run. Then, new evenings LA at 5 p.m. with the latest breaking news about what's unfolding late this Tuesday afternoon. So, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. Thank you for all the incredible subscriber growth recently. And then like the video. Two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. You were great yesterday, but on one particular show, people are in the live chat, nearly 2,000 people, no one for and everyone forget to like the video. Uh, so don't ever forget to like the video. Also, consider becoming a member. And thank you for all the incredible new Purple Hawks joining the family. If you've seen it, it's been incredible. About 200 new people a day, new Purple Hawks for days. Join the Purple Hawks right now and jump in the live chat. And with that, let's cut to the four stimulus. Senate versus House, House versus Senate. Let's go over everything you need to know across the board. Both have approaches for checks, just different number of them, and also different amounts. House versus Senate. The House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal is July to December. The House bill provides $1,000 per month on the checks. After the first month, the Senate amount monthly unknown but word on the street is this. Deliciousness, $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. 
The pandemic is far from over. And if you heard overnight, the Department of Defense is recommending that vaccination be mandatory to serve in the armed services. That is to combat Delta, Delta Plus, and Lambda. Here across the country and in cities and states, they're all considering mandatory vaccinations to enter places of business with a vaccination card. You're going to see a major change of this in the next, next 20 days where all businesses may start to require vaccination cards to enter places of business. That's because the pandemic's not over. So House would provide more than one year of checks, which would be more than 12 checks, which would amount to more than $13,000. Compare that to this and the Senate. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Vote House of Senate, House of Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. One of the things that you need to understand about the House bill, it starts from the point at which it becomes a law. So that would potentially even give more checks than the Senate. Who gets these four stimulus checks? You do. Democrats represent that if you got third, you get a fourth. Single individual, 75,000 less. Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 less. Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Democrats represent the fourth, you get a fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. The fourth stimulus check will be the same amount for adult dependents and everyone else. And the the fourth stimulus check is not a waivable check. So if you are at um, at the op, the omelet place today, and you're having to tell them to flip the omelet, and you say, hey, hey flip the omelet, and you sort of, it's like how I wave at the check, and there's a check in line to get the omelet. Don't wave at the check. Oh, you waved at the check. And then it didn't wave back. Road check. No, it just flips omelets. <laughs> it just flips omelets, doesn't wave checks back, doesn't wave back, you know. I would prefer a waveable check over a delicious omelet any day of the week. How about you? Jump in the live chat and tell me what you think. Well, there you go. Um, in the second part of this video, we'll be going over the recon. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. We have some of the details that were released yesterday. I'll be going over why they're doing recon procedural before recon substantive. I'll de delineate the separation of the two subject matters. And the third part of this video, you'll hear the breaking news that happened overnight, which is that Lita Schumer, Nancy, Chuck, uh, <laughs> I said his name twice, uh, Bernie, are not delivering on their timeline. They said everything was going to become a law by July 4th. Then they said everything was going to become a law by the by the August recess. They're not doing that. So why did they not come through on their promises? And when is the next timeline? I'll have all the details in the very big final 15 minutes of this video. Stay at the very end because it's a very complicated situation. And I'm going to break it down for you as well. Then we cut to fifth stimulus, which is just a few days away, as September's knocking on our door. Do you hear it knocking? Don't answer it. It may be the pizza delivery. <laughs> and I'll be going over the raise of your benefits. I'll, if you're on SSI, SSDI, VA, it's incredible great news. But first, let's get some money. I'm excited for you. Are you excited? I'm very excited. When we talk about money on this channel, money is money. I mean... Everyone qualifies for rent, utilities, food, or internet. If you've reached out to some places and you've had hard problems, I want you to keep on reaching out to the volunteers. And I'm going to bring back, I think, into the mix of this channel, Purple, because Purple dealt with the nonprofits. Because if you're having problems in the city and county and states, don't worry, because the nonprofits will take pick it up for you as well. But when we talk about rent, uh, we're going to talk about big sums of money. So get in pen and paper ready. I'm going to get you some rent, utilities, food, internet, and more. And it starts with the rent. A couple of weeks ago, I said, I can get you $5,000 of rent from this channel, about four to six months of rent. I was wrong. I was very wrong. I can't get you $5,000, but I can get you $27,000. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Wow. Elizabeth got $27,000. Mark got $25,000. Nancy got $24,000 for rent. As a Purple Hawk, as a member, as a viewer, as a person who religiously understands these videos and watches them. Uh, Richard got 22000 Nisi got 20000 And the numbers are still coming in. Someone two days ago was in the live chat, said they got $18,000 for rent. Carla got money for multiple items. Pamela got $12,000 for rent. Tiffany got $13,000 for rent and other items. Randy got $6,000 for rent and other items. And Jennifer got $5,000 for rent and other items. Cecilia got some heap as well. 
well, when we were talking about utilities, I said, I can get you $300 for utilities. And what happened? It's not $300. It's $7,000. Wow, Nancy, incredible job. Great job, Nancy. She got $7,000 for her utilities. Mark, $6,500 for his utilities paid. Angela, $5,000 for his utilities. Utilities is, is gas, electric, water, heating oil, things like that. Then when we talk about SNAP, that's money for your food. And I initially said I could get you five to $6,000 of money for SNAP annualized. And boy, then this happened. Are you ready? Are you ready to see the analyzed numbers? Bam. Oh my goodness, Louie. Incredible, great job. Congratulations. Louis got $18,000 for SNAP annualized. John, ten to $12,000 annualized for SNAP. And Nancy, $5,000 annualized for SNAP, which as you know, um, th that's about, you know, four fifty dollars a month for, for Nancy. Just incredible, great job. So then finally, people getting multiple sums of money. Are you ready? Are you ready for this deliciousness? Let's see it. Deliciousness. Wow, Nancy, congratulations. $32,000 Nancy got from three items. Nisa got $23,000 for three items, rent, utilities, and SNAP. And Mark got $32,000 from two items. Two items? Yes. This is what we talk about pushing with Purple Power. Mark saw me recording about a week ago where I said on air to Mark directly, I said, Mark, you got two items. Get Snap. Why did you not get Snap? He went back and got Snap. And from $32,000, where do you think he went? Do you think he went to $36,000? Maybe he got $4,000 of Snap. Maybe he got $8,000 of Snap. Maybe he got to $40,000. That's what I thought was going to happen. I was wrong again. How much did he get for Snap? Nineteen thousand dollars bringing his grand total from watching this videos of this channel watching me daily fifty thousand dollars and this is LA this is what I do here this is what I do here I get people money I don't track checks I help people cash checks when EI deal loans and EI deal grants were approved by Congress in spring of last year people my viewers weren't getting it I launched this channel because no one was getting it so I stepped in and I was getting somewhere upwards of ten EI deal loans approved per day. Somewhere is upwards of 150,000. Over a million and a half dollars I was getting approved a day. I got viewers $25 million of EI deal loans. It was a jaw-dropping time where I was saving people's homes, their businesses, and their employees' homes. But then in fall of 2020, second stimulus was not coming. Sort of like how we're waiting for four stimulus to formulate, and it's not formulating right now. So I stepped forward and I got viewers $250,000 for rent. Paid Tyrone's family's rent for, not myself, but got, showed him how to get the rent. And they got $15,000 for rent. Paid all their rent from December to May or at March. It's incredible great news. And now you're doing the same. So let's get a pen and paper ready. The only difference is you're doing things like we've never seen before. Purple Hawks. Hawk, hawk. You have been incredible. Get a pen and paper ready. I'm going to get you some money for rent, utilities, food, internet, and more. And starting right now. First, rent. Um, and the rent and utilities and mortgage assistance, you're going to reach out to different places. I'm going to show you where to reach out to. They each have their different eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next. You're going to hear six places. I want you to reach out to all six. Don't reach out to one and sort of say, mm, you know, I'm done. No, you got to keep on reaching out. If you get a no, they'll eventually say yes. They have their own pot of money. And then listen for the keywords. The keywords are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage assistance because of COVID, and utility assistance because of COVID. Okay, where do you reach out? Out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, your state housing authority. And you got to say those key words, rent assistance because of COVID and similar. Don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or um, getting things done by the August recess. <sighs> Yeah, didn't sort of do that, did you? Meh. Did you, Chuck? Yeah, we're going to remember that promise to us. It's coming up later in this video. But can we top that? We can as we go in, as we go now to some snap. But if you've got a rent at utilities, post in the live chat. Post your success stories right now. Always two fingers. <laughs> Let's get some snap. Snap is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture, DOA, reach out to them. How much does it pay? It pays a lot. Louis got it to eighteen thousand. Congratulations, Louis. Mark got nineteen thousand. Uh, John ten to twelve thousand. And Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom. And Gail got it as well. How much does it pay? A family of four out of Hawaii gets upwards of sixteen thousand dollars a year for SNAP. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump. That raised your benefits up fifteen percent between now and December. Eligibility is easier than a stimulus check. Reach out to the Department of Agriculture to get it. And you're in the live chat. Post your success stories right now. And now let's cut to some big money. 
for uh, for coming back from your states. And we're only 14 minutes of this video, and we've gotten $27,000 for rent, <laughs> $9,000 for utilities, and gotten $19,000 for Snap. We're killing it. You're killing it. I'm so proud of you. But let's get to the next spot of the money. It's the refund check helping back from your states. This is due to overpayment of unemployment benefits and a computer error. So reach out to your state. Say, hi, state. Where is that check due to overpayment and a computer error? And when you track it, can you use a different computer that actually works? And tr plug in the keyboard and turn on the screen. It may help us well. <laughs> and finally, the last refund check is coming back from IRS. Margaret got it. Kyle got it. Michael got it. How much is it? Well, it's landing every week. Average payouts are about $1,000 to, $1, to about $1,500. Mark, Mark, Mark got it, about $1,400. It's a waveable check. There's a new wave every week with a direct deposit every week and a paper check every week. Now, before we continue with that, here's a personal message. If you're on the live chat and you have not posted your success stories for rent, utilities, food, or internet, please do. And if you're on multiple videos watching me per day, which I expect you to be doing, always post your success stories. Why? Because you help other people. My purpose here is to help people, and your purpose is to help people as well. That's the love and community of the Purple Power. And when you post your success stories, three wonderful things of help happen. Number one, when you post your success stories, you inspire other people because then they see people they recognize in the live chat and they say, oh, that person got utilities. I got a water bill. I'll get, I have a gas bill. Let me get it paid for. And then they realize, let's go do it. Let's go get this money. Second, they see people like Art Sullivan. I saw Art Sullivan, Nisi saw, and Nisi as well. Art Sullivan and Nisi got three items, red utilities and snap. And suddenly they realized, wait a second, I just got snap. I should really try for my utilities as well. And that's what happened with Mark. Mark heard my my recordings for a week where I specifically addressed him on camera. I said, Mark, go get the third item. Like Art Sullivan and Nisi said, did. That's exactly what I recorded. And he went and got it. Got $19,000. And there you go. All right, let's cut back to that unemployment benefits. Uh, when is that check going to, where's that check landing? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. How much? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, getting back $4,000. When? This month. Can you track it? Yeah, go to irs.gov and do a transcript search. And 70% of the time it'll work. It'll reveal the taxes you paid and the tax return you filed. It'll also reveal um, uh, stuff you never knew, um, stuff you really just don't want to know. Like um, when Tr Nancy has $12 ice cream, does she sprinkle it with 99 cent store sprinkles? <laughs> I just have a visual. She does that. Yeah, I, I, I just have a visual. She eats twelve dollar ice cream with a twelve with a two cent spoon. <laughs> you know, she spends money on the ice cream, but not on the spoon. And there you go. Can we top that? Yes. As we go into the second part of your four stimulus check update, starting right now. Deal done. The Democratic coalition agreed over the last two weeks to a price tag of three point five trillion dollars for your. Fourth stimulus recon. This is incredible great news. The agreement on the recon is deliciousness because everything that's in the recon is checks for you. If you've been with this channel doing first, second, and third stimulus, well, actually second, third, and fourth stimulus because I wasn't, I, the challenge didn't exist during first stimulus, I've showed you how these stimulus packages have gotten larger over time. And the larger the stimulus package, the more likelihood they can put big stimulus checks in there because there's a lot more money. This one's huge. This one is $3.5 trillion. Imagine we've seen $1,400 stimulus checks before, $1,200 stimulus checks before, on much smaller stimulus packages. This one is much bigger, number one. And number two, the prior stimulus packages were nearly 80% spent on business loans, of which there's almost none of in this one. So those stimulus packages were spent on corporate America. This one's spent on you. How did we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot by taking roads and bridges out of, of a recon. The recon originally before July 4th had roads and bridges in there, and those roads and bridges did not make the recon passable. So they took the roads and bridges out and put in something called the bipartisan, and now the bipartisan uh, has become passed for purposes of the Senate. We had the confirmation from a conservative publication just days ago that said the higher the price tag was in the recon, the harder it was to pass. There you go. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending from the recon, roads and bridges put in the bipartisan, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. And the recon made the bipartisan passable. So how do they do this? Well, 
once the Democrats had shrunk the recon, they were able to bring it back out to a big number. We're currently now in the month of August, only talking about the number. You're going to learn about that later in the final 15 minutes of this video. We're only talking about the number. So if there's something we don't want to fix, is something we want to fix here, it's only the number. 3.5 and how it's allocated between age uh, divisions of the U.S. government. 3.5 trillion, but they think that's fine. They could still go higher on the number. And that's what Representative Richie Torres said, that I refuse to support this unless it's a larger recon. You got it, Richie, 3.5 trillion, congratulations. And Representative Elon Omar, Democrat out of Minnesota, said, we have to have a recon that goes as big and bold as we want it. You got it, uh, Elon, 3.5 trillion, great news. And finally, the progressives were meeting with the White House daily to ensure that the recon went big as bold enough as possible. They got it, 3.5 trillion. How do they do this? By protecting the recon. Because everything that's in the recon is checks for the American people. And they've been protecting it like a hawk. Brian Schatz, a Democrat, Washington, Hawaii, and Jalapal both confirmed that the White House told them that the progressive policies in priorities in the recon are the White House's priorities. So what is a recon? How does it get written? How does it get voted? And what's going on right now? You're going to see some new details about that starting right now because they're switching modes and not doing it like they represented. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Bernie Sanders all told us the recon would be a law by July 4th. Then said, no, we have to take the roads and bridges out. Now the recon will be law by by the August recess. They're not. So why are they not delivering it by the August recess? What's the issue? Because what they're doing here is that they're doing the recon procedural right now. Let me separate out recon procedural versus recon substance. You see the difference. Recon procedural means that the, all they're doing right now is agreeing upon two subjects. One, how much is the recon? Do you agree to do a reconciliation? Actually, three subjects. One, question number one, do you agree to do a reconciliation? Answer, yes. What is the price tag of the recon you agree to do? 3.5 trillion. And how will we disperse the monies between the different agencies of the federal government that will eventually decide later on where to spend it? We're going to put 10% into the education department. That will ultimately determine how to spend it. We're going to give 20% uh, to the um, to uh, for example the nutrition division committee on nutrition, and then sign vote date done. So that's all they're doing right now, which is called recon procedural. There is no bill. There is no details. That is just recon procedural. So who writes this recon procedural? It's written uh, ostensibly by these House subcommittee members. So when do the House subcommittee members write the recon substantive? Okay, so this is what Schumer, Pelosi, Bernie represented to us and did not absolutely did not deliver. They had been representing to us that since January, the subcommittees of the, ho of the House have been writing the recon substantive. It's August. Is it written? No. They revealed yesterday it has not been written. What have they been doing for four months? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So they're doing the recon procedural first, which is to agree upon the price tag, and then they're representing they're going to come back and ride it. So everything we've learned on this channel about what they were supposed to be have been doing, they're going to be doing, but they haven't started doing it. Unacceptable. Unacceptable to the American people. So how do they write this? So it goes to these subcommittees, and those subcommittees write the provisions. And under the Constitution, different subcommittees are delegated different subject matters. House Ways and Means, response, first of all, could be is responsible for stimulus checks and unemployment benefits. After those subcommittees write what they got to write, they send them up to Chuck. Let's say it's 10 subcommittees that write 10 pages. They go up to Chuck. He combines it and takes those 100 pages and puts them together and puts a big S on it for... S for Schumer. No. Of Laverne and Charlie. No. Uh, salty? No. Slow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Uh, for Senate? Yeah. And that's when we see our recon substantive bill. I've been detailing this a while for the last few weeks, and we were supposed to have seen that today. We were supposed to have seen that yesterday. Instead, they now say we're going to see this in September. Uh, not acceptable. That's not what you told us. That's not what you told us, Chuck, Nancy, Bernie. 
you told us it was going to be law by the August recess, not that you're just going to start the process by the August recess. Unacceptable. But ultimately, that's what they're going to be doing in September. So what's the difference between a recon and a bipartisan? Let's go through all the details. We won't need to know too much more of this going on forward because they're very separated now. And But yet, now and then, it's important to go over this because the recon and the bipartisan is still being butchered by broadcast media. So what is the recon? The recon Recon is your money, also called reconciliation, also called the budget bill, price tag $3.5 trillion. The bipartisan roads and bridges, also called the infrastructure. That's what passed the Senate today. Um, also called, well, recognized by its price tag, $1.5 trillion. And people are quoting an article about it, like a Kristen Sinema, Ron Portman, or Mitt Romney. Okay, how do we get to the spot? From Jalapal, who recently wrote Schumer Lair saying, Chuck called the vote on the recon. She meant call the vote on the substantive recon. She did not mean call the vote on the procedural recon, Chuck. Uh, the, but that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats who recently wrote the president, who are part of the 100 plus House Democrats, who recently wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to be providing monthly for stimulus checks in the force stimulus package. Purple power. You need to push. You need to keep these people to their promises. You need to push because when they go right, the substantive recon in the fall, they need to ensure they put it in there. Number two, can we top that? Yes. As seven members of the House Ways and Means subcommittee recently wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly fourth stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Purple power, you need to push because these people promised you a fourth stimulus check, also a fifth stimulus check, and they're promising the fourth stimulus check is reoccurring monthly. You have to push purple power and ensure these people keep their promises. Can we top that? We can. As the president did it several days, several weeks ago, he went overseas to have a global minimum and global uh, agreement reached. It was only ceremony. But now he had the actual signature done days ago, the real one. And what is this for? A confusing thing that doesn't belong in the recon because it would bog down all their incredible fast work on the recon. Yeah. What is this called? The global minimum corporate tax rate. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this great news? Number one, because it makes it easier to write the recon, which they've been writing for months now. Oh. Um, it makes it easier to call the vote on the recon, makes it easier to vote on the recon, and makes it easier to pass the substantive recon. And can we top that? Yes. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, I'll be going over all the breaking details about what's unfolded in the last 24 hours, how Chuck and Nancy and Bernie have what I used to call in 2020, moved the goalposts like Javita late. Moved the goalposts, not delivering what they said they were going to do by the August recess, but they're still saying they're going to take care of it. I'll go over all the incredible great news in the final 15 minutes of this video. Then I'll cut to fist stimulus as well. But is there something more dependable than the Congress? Yes, the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, mortgage, and homeowners assistance, and you try to get it yourself and you had problems, don't worry. Reach out to the volunteers. They truly embody the purple power spirit of people helping people. Reach out to them. How do you find them? Open in the description of this video. Go down in the description. You'll find the link to the community page. Click that link. It'll take you to a page with some kitty cats. Uh, they're not the volunteers. They're just kitty cats. Mm -hmm. Lower on the page of the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them. Help them give them big money. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as we heat up the second half of Afternoons at Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right now on this big afternoon's LA direct from Santa Monica with the latest details about what's going on across the globe. And thank you for joining me. Boy, coming up in a second, we'll be going over the second half, the final 15 minutes of the next seven days. for stimulus and fifth stimulus heating up. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. And thank you for the nearly 200 new members joining daily. Become a Purple Hawk and jump into the live chat. And with that, let's cut to what the president promised he was going to deliver during the campaign trail and did not deliver. And then what he promised during the transition papers and did not deliver as well. This is that SSI, SSDI, VA lift of your benefits. So guess what? The Democratic coalition is taking care of it for you in what's called fifth stimulus. When is fifth stimulus? Starting in just days. When Congress goes back into session in September, this is when this starts. This will be drafted up in September, then going to a vote, presumably as they represent by November. Hitting your bank account, presumably by November, is what they represent. And then the lift up of your benefits in December for next year. How does this work? Step one, they'll raise your benefit limits up. Then they'll remove the asset limits, add an inflationary benchmark, remove the marriage penalty, and remove the income exclusion. All right, let's go over all the details starting right now. Who is this for? You. <laughs> if you're on SSI, SSDI. Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, VA benefits as well. First step, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. What's that new benchmark? Inflation. Where is it going to be? It's going to be transitory, says Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve. What does transitory mean? It means a temporary spike, a very steep spike, and then it comes back down. When? In December. Yes, right when they apply our benefits. It's great news. So how high is that rate going to go? All the economic indicators I've been running on this channel a lot over the weekend shows about a 5% rate. So let's use that. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. And if the benchmark is 5%, then your benefits go up an additional 5%. Not just next year, lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. If the inflation rate is 2% the year after that, you'll be at 2 plus 2 plus 5%. Then they're going to move the asset cap dating back to a 1980s law. This is you can't have more than $3,000 on the hand. It's going to go away and you'll be able to have more than that in your hand. And also uh, some muddle blue. No, it is not muddle. Mm. <laughs> and it's not Casey Royal either. Mm -hmm. They're going to remove the income cap, date back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and see on benefits. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty, and you'll be able to do a pair dance at Robin Siedi's wedding. You'll no longer fear a loss of benefits, and if your benefits were canceled, they'll be restored as a married couple. And there you go. Meantime, if you're wait, wondering about that fiscal check, the Democrat so, subcommittee represents there will be a fiscal check next year as well. It will not overlap with a fourth stimulus check. Well, if you're in the live chat, though, if you notice that there are purple hawks in there and you're not a purple hawk, what are you doing? you got to join. Here's what you need to know is that financial freedom is the focus of this channel. Making sure that people get as much money they can as different places we can. You can't be financially dependent upon the arrival of a check at any time. We're not cashing checks. We're tracking checks. And that's why these numbers are happening. In, spring, in fall of last year, when second stimulus was supposed to happen and it was a $600 stimulus check, I said, don't be dependent upon a $600 stimulus check because what's going to happen is that you're going to get it and then you're going to spend it. And you're going to wonder where the next check is going. So that's why I focus in fall of 2020 for people to get big sums of money. And that's why Tyrone got $15,000 from this channel, paying all his rent to the next year. Then when second, when third stimulus became a law earlier this year, I said, sure, there's going to be a $14 stimulus check, but I'm going to try to get you money for rent and utilities. I said, I'm going to try to get you $14,000. Well, I didn't. I got viewers $32,000. Because guess what? Money is money. And when fourth stimulus becomes a law as well, there's going to be a lot of different application items in there, like third stimulus. Remember, the federal government looks at you as a person with a lot of bills. You got rent, you got utilities, you got food, you got internet, you got medical as well. And then you may also have the car, the roof, and your kid's shoes. You may want to get a check to pay for the car or to pay for the shoes, but the federal government doesn't want to give you one sometimes or they want to delay it. They want to focus more on getting you medical and rent and utilities. So take what they want to give you. 
Take the big sums of money they want to give you. Rent, utilities, food, internet, medicine, benefits for seniors, benefits for workers. Take those sums of money because of your 10 bills, if you got eight paid by the federal government, then you alleviate the financial freedom that not having to pay for those eight bills presents to you. And some of you who are getting $32,000 of their bills paid by the federal government have that extra $32,000 available for them to pay for these other items. That's how financial freedom happens. And all of you are, can qualify for almost every single item across the board. And with that, subscribe and become a member. The link is underneath the video where it says join here. And with that, let's go into the final 15 minutes of this video, starting right now with all the breaking details about the recon. Done deal, $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. But when? They delivered on their promises as to the price tag, but not on their promises about the timing. So what happened? The Democrat coalition met twice over the last week, agreeing to a price tag of $3.5 trillion. Senator Tim Kaine said, this is easy. All we have to do is slot the numbers in there, and we're effectively done. Untrue. <laughs> he did not tell us the truth. Bernie Sanders, Nancy Pelosi, uh, Chuck and the president all said this was going to become a law by the August recess. Not going to become a law by the August recess. So what's going on? Step one is they're doing the recon procedural now, not just the recon and, subs and recon substantive. What? Yeah. So here's what happened is that when they talked about getting the recon done, everyone, including us, listening to them, understood that to be all of the recon, not just part of the recon. Part of the recon is recon procedural and then recon substantive. And when they said the recon was going to become a law, become a law by the August recess, it means it's going to become a law, not just part of the recon. Well, they didn't deliver on their promise whatsoever. So what are they delivering by the August recess as to recon to become a law? Just the recon procedural. Okay, so what is the recon procedural? The recon procedural is the following. Price tag. Well, first that we agreed to do a recon. Then we agreed to a price tag for the whole thing, $3.5 And then we agree that certain committees will be delegated a percentage of that $3.5 And that's it. Nothing else. No specificity about anything. In fact, it's called non-binding. What does non-binding mean? It means that, for example, let's go to one of the examples of one of those subcommittees, what they're getting. For example, the Committee on Nutrition gets $135 billion. Do they have to decide what they're going to spend the money on in that, in that subcommittee on nutrition? No, it's non-binding. It's just the amount going to the committee. So this is what we have. $726 billion to one committee, $332 to another building committee, $198 to this committee, $107 billion to that committee, and that's it. And that's all they're voting on. Wow. Now, they also told us they had been writing the recon all these few months. They have not written Zippo. Really not very kind of them to say they're doing these certain things. Now, what is actually going for a vote today in the recon? Just this, the procedural, which will go for a vote um, today. I'm going to explain the voting process of it in a second. Now, when they pass the recon procedural this August, then in September, they now indicate, not what they indicated as of 48 hours ago, they'll be back in September, and then they'll start doing and start writing the recon substantive. Uh, they were supposed to have been writing this since January. Yeah, not very cool at all, because people were, were told that they're going to get this into law by August recess. So what is in that recon substantive? Again, it is purely recommendations at the moment. It is not binding, called non-binding. They can change it. But here are some of the items. There's going to be free school meals for all, checks. There's basically checks for all walks of life. Free school meals for all, checks. Tax break checks. Cheaper prescription medication checks. Immigration reform checks, farming checks, election checks, free internet checks as well. Then there's checks for my workers and checks for my seniors. For my workers, there's checks for independent contractors, checks for unions, and checks for extending collective bargaining. There's checks for seniors as well, lots of checks for seniors. We've increasing the eligibility age, checks for seniors for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing as well. Now, that is the recon. Let's go over to the bipartisan. So the bipartisan, by the time of this recording, will have already passed the Senate. Doesn't mean it's law. It's not a law yet. So then what's the next step? Let's go over the voting process, because I think that this point is this is where people 
are getting uh, confused, not by us, but by Congress. So Nancy Chuck, the president, Jalapal, always said the recon was going to go for a vote first in the Senate. They didn't deliver on that either. But that's not a concern. The concern is what goes for a vote first in the House. Nancy has always said the whole recon goes for a vote first in the House, meaning that you cannot send to Nancy just the bipartisan. She'll throw in the wastebasket. She has to have the recon as well. Now, let me slow that down and clarify that even clearer to you. When Nancy says the whole recon has to come to her in the House with the roads and bridges, I understand her comments, you understand her comments, as the whole recon, not just the procedural recon. Because the procedural recon is just the procedural recon. You have to have the whole recon. So at the moment, they're sort of being careful with their words. And yeah, we have to go off of what they're saying and, and make sure that their intend, intention of the words is exactly what they're doing. The president said the following, that if you only send him roads and bridges and put it on his desk in the White House, he's not signed it. You have to send him both the roads and bridges and the recon. Okay, that is good. So he says, as to the roads, as to the bipartisan, if that's the only thing that comes to me and that's the only thing that's come to me, I'm not signing it. They have to come to me in tandem. Then he says, I'm not just signing the bipartisan, forgetting about the recon. The recon also has to land on my desk. Okay, that's what he says. Then Nancy says that you have to send her both the recon and the roads and bridges from the Senate. Well, Nancy, you mean the recon procedural and the recon substantive, I hope. I hope you don't just mean recon procedural, because recon procedural doesn't send anything out to anyone. It's just a procedural. It's just the, you know, the, the, the box. It doesn't even have the contents of the box in there. So I believe that is what she endeavors to do. We just have to keep these people to their promises. Nancy says, as I said, there won't be a bipartisan unless we have a recon, plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be bipartisan unless we have the recon passed by the United States Senate as well. And then Jalapal says that the House will not pass the bipartisan unless it comes with the recon. Okay, so now let's go back to your recon and routing times and dates you need to know across the board. First, where we are right now is we do not have the recon substantive bill. And what debuted on Monday was a proposal of what's in the recon. We do not have the, excuse me, we currently do not have the recon substantive bill. At the moment, what debuted on Monday was the recon procedural proposal. I know that's confusing. Let me say that again one more time. We have recon procedural, which is simply saying how much and what committees get what. And that's not even in bill format yet, but it will be in bill format. And they're going to vote on that this week. We do not have the recon substantive bill, and that gets written in September. So if anyone says to you something like, I, have, I saw the bill on Monday, and there's no stimulus checks in there. No, you didn't see any bill on Monday, because that was not the substantive bill. You don't even know what's going on with Congress, do you? <clears throat> the thing that debuted on Monday was not the substantive bill. There's actually no checks for anything. In the, in the, in the, in the, there's, no, there's nothing. The, the Monday bill doesn't send money out anywhere. <clears throat> it just says, can we take some money out of the Department of Treasury? Maybe we can take some money out of the Department of Treasury. And then when we do, what are we going to do with it? Uh, haven't decided yet. <laughs> That's all it says. I haven't decided yet. So let's go over what's voting this week. Chuck Schumer is also not delivering on his timeline for voting. Yeah, this is sort of a recurring theme, don't you see, so far? So Chuck Schumer said they were going to immediately go into the voterama on the recod substantive. Well, they're not going into voting uh, the voterama on the recon substantive. In fact, they're not going into the voterama for the recon procedural. So which thing is going into the voterama right away? Nothing. What? He's not delivering on that either? No. So what he's doing is he's doing a normal voting first on the recon procedural, and then shortly thereafter, oh, I hate that expression, <laughs> shortly thereafter, which is like 20 years from now, no, uh, shortly thereafter, which is probably, you know, what is this, Tuesday, probably Thursday, I don't know, uh, guessing with these people is just, yeah, shortly thereafter, they will do the Votorama on the recon procedural, okay, so when are they going to get the recon procedural done by the August recess? 
in the Senate. Then what happens? It goes over to the House. What can the House modify at this point? The House can only modify numbers because there's no substance. So they can look at the 3.5 and say, you know what? Um, that's not enough. I want 4.1. Oh, okay. They can do that. Or they can say, um, I don't want uh, the Subcommittee on Nutrition to get uh, $135 billion. I want them to get $142 billion. So they can say, um, no, I want more money to go to the, to the Committee on Nutrition. That's all they can do. And then it goes back to the Senate. The Senate approves it. They similarly they do. And then the president signs into law. And that's the August recess. Then in September, we come back and we battle over, okay, now that the Department of Nutrition has 142, 135 billion, whatever the number is, what are they going to spend the money on? At the moment, all they have is recommendations. They're non-binding. They can do anything they want. What they do is they write up that sub that committee what they want to spend them one thirty five billion on, give it up to Chuck. They combine it all as a big massive bill, and then everyone looks at it. And if something's wrong, we push. Now, is there anything for us to push right now? Absolutely. I would say do a bigger. Do bigger than 3.5. Why not do 3.9? Why not do 4.1? Why are we being so cheap on the 3.5? I would push and get a bigger number. I would get a bigger number. I would give more money to, I would give a lot of money to the House Ways and Means Subcommittee. Um, I would just go bigger and bolder. Um, there is certain monies that are spent in here, spend more money on the American people across the board. Now is the time and place. Delta's ravaging out of control. Time to do it. With that, I'll have more about this on Evenings I Light. I know this is running late. Wow, 46 minutes. <laughs> but coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video. Two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member. Stay informed. Stay focused. Join me next on Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this video. It automatically takes you there.